in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can create a tunnel bore machine for your survival world back in the day i created a video on a different tunnel bore and ever since you guys have been begging me to create a sequel to that video so here we go so the tunnel bore in question is here as you can see this is decently long and quite quite wide let's say and uh, yeah it requires a lot of slime blocks a few itty bitty things left and right now you are going to have to build this in 1.16 or higher because you do need these ancient debris this will not work in any previous version than 1.16 so just keep that in mind before going any further anyway if you use this machine right click on this note block a few thingies will move, TNT will get dispensed, and kaboom, there we go, it breaks quite a few blocks, then you can go collect them, pick them up, keep them in your inventory, right click again, let it do its thingy, and boom again, etc, etc, so this is how you advance and collect your resources, now this will explode a ton and ton of ores left and right, there are quite a few iron ores, redstone ores, golden ores, there's everything here. Now you cannot spam click this, you have to wait until the TNT has exploded before clicking it again. So this is more or less the max speed. Now let me try and collect these before they blow up, there we go. And that is how the farm works. Originally I had built the machine here and as you see it has advanced a bit to get all the way over there and it has exposed a whole ton of resources which I could mine with fortune 3. Uh, this whole tunnel was made in about 20 to 25 minutes let's say maximum half an hour and uh, yeah this is quite an efficient way of mining. Now let me show you everything that the machine digged up by itself. So here, ton of cobblestone, some lapis, few stacks of redstone, some iron ore, some coal. Here again, one diamond, huge amount of cobblestone, as you can see here. Uh, gold, lapis, redstone, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And this farm is honestly really small for the advantages it gives you. These here are all of the resources required to build this machine. As you can see here, it's pretty, let's say, fair. Though ancient debris is a little bit hard to collect. But for the rest, I would say that this is pretty fair and it's quite easy to collect. To build this farm, you need to first dig out a sort of hole where you can build this farm. Your hole needs to be 24 in length, 6 blocks in uh, width and 4 blocks tall. So once you've dug this out, you can build your machine. Also, one last thing I forgot to mention, this is a tileable design, so we can create multiple arrays of these TNT shooters. I will show you how to do that later on in the video. So, the first thing you want to do is place like this three ancient debris, a shroom light, an observer pointing towards it, a sticky piston and a regular piston pointing this way. Then leave a gap, place an observer, place a wall against it, place two slabs like this, a TNT here, a shroom light here, then your slime blocks, place them like this, here place your dead coral fan, another slime block on top, place a slab. Then here uh, on the side of this shroom light, place three temporary blocks like so. Grab yourself your minecart with your detector rail, place them here, then grab your regular piston like so with your slime, uh, your redstone block and activate it. Normally nothing should blow up and this is what it should look like. Then our next session, section here is to place like this a regular piston pointing towards the farm with a air block gap between them. Place here your redstone block, 
like so with another gap which you then fill with an observer pointing towards your redstone block. Then grab your slime blocks and place a single one under the redstone block. Now we can place a couple temporary blocks like so, a piston pointing this way and it should have normally two air block gaps between them. Here you place a slime block and a sticky piston pointing outwards but here place a sticky piston pointing inwards so like so. Then place a slime block with a um, redstone block on top and a piston like this with a one air block gap between. Then place a temporary block like so to the side with a redstone block here and a sticky piston pointing this way. Then place five slime blocks like this. Then add here an observer like this and an observer like this with a piston on the back of it. Okay, now right now your farm won't work. To make it work, place a redstone block here and then break it. And normally a few things should move and now it should be. Then place a node block underneath, an observer looking into it, a sandstone block behind it with a sticky piston like so and a slime block on top of it. There we go. Now before I fire it, I want to first show you how to make it tileable and then we can fire it. So what you want to do is you want to rebuild the farm except for this whole note block thingy and all of this. So everything up to this piston, all of this you need to recreate, but all of this you must not recreate. Now to do this and to know where to do this, you need to build it to your right and these ancient debris you need to place after six air blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you can place your three ancient debris and redo the entire thing. So there we go. Now again, place your redstone block here, destroy it, and now it's all set up. So here place three slime blocks and a redstone block and there we go that's how you tile this farm now here I could have probably done with a little bit better um, organization but uh, yeah never mind just take this as a concept and yeah so that is how you tile this farm now one last thing you need to just break a couple blocks in front of the machine so that it has room to move these pistons otherwise it will get jammed so you know just just get rid of a couple few blocks in front of the machine just to make sure it doesn't clog up now here again i, I probably should have taken into account that machine but anyway it's time to fire this bad boy and see whether i have messed up in the tutorial or not and it looks like I haven't, which is awesome. So boom, there we go. Let's do this again. Yep, it works. So that is how you create these tunnel boards. Now, obviously you can tile this to infinity, make it as wide as you want. Obviously each time you make it wider, it will be better, more efficient. So yeah, this is definitely one of the best farms in the game. I would recommend definitely building this if you have the resources to spare and yeah that's really now if you're interested in seeing the video i did back in the day on a different design for a tunnel bore then i recommend you click on screen right about now there should be some sort of card or whatever anyway bye